Spanish police arrested a fugitive they described as a Kinahan priority wanted in the UK. Liam Byron has been given the name of Mojarka, a holiday island. Byron, a Nick and Kinahan cartel member, was arrested after leaving his hideaway. Jet to Malarco and visit some relatives in Dubai. The Spanish police confirmed the arrest by releasing the footage in the statement. They did not name him but said he was a leader of a criminal group specializing in arms trafficking. The arrest of 42-year-old Liam Byron by Spanish police is celebrated as a major moment in the fight to dismantle Kinahan's organized crime group. Officers arrest him while eating with his family at a Majorca restaurant. Byron, according to the Criminal Assets Bureau at the High Court, was involved in violent crimes and drug trafficking across Europe. David, his brother, was also a cartel member and was killed at the Regency Hotel Dublin in 2016 as part of the feud between Kinnan and Hodge. Before we move on, please support us by hitting subscribe and the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. According to a spokesperson from the National Police of Spain in Mallorca, officers arrested a dangerous major Irish fugitive. The fugitive is a Kinahan family member. The National Crime Agency of the UK made it a priority to find out who was leading the criminal organization that was involved in weapon trafficking. The fugitive was the leader of a weapons trafficking group that bought pistols, submachine guns, and sold them to the other groups. The weapons purchase had systems that did not leave fingerprints, allowing them to commit crimes without being detected by police work. The organization was so large that another group ordered 14 guns for a single purpose. They said that during the NCA investigation in Great Britain and Northern Ireland, several members of the group this man belongs to were arrested for these crimes and drug trafficking. A hideout with multiple handguns, some machine guns, and large ammunition quantities was also discovered. The fugitive fled from the UK to Dubai. The NCA found out that the fugitive was in Majorca recently to meet his family. British police then contacted the Spanish National Police Specialist Fugitive Units for information on his location. The officers found a vehicle he might be driving and after focusing their search in this area, they located the fugitive and arrested him. This information was published in the Spanish press. In the last few minutes, the NCA posted an article on their website stating that two men the NCA wanted for suspicion of firearms crimes had been arrested in Spain. Liam Byrne, 42, from Dublin, who is thought to be a trusted member of the Kinahan Organized Crime Group, was arrested in Majorca's Alcudia region on Sunday night while eating with family. On 29th May, he arrived at Palmer Airport via Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. Officers from the Spanish National Police arrested Jack Kavanaugh, 22, from Samworth, transiting through Dubai on the way to Turkey. The NCA led the investigation with support from the Spanish National Police officers. The NCA received trade and cooperation agreements from Angadish Yana, a company in Ireland. After enroachment at the message, warrants showed that they were suspected of being involved in acquiring and supplying firearms. K. Miller, regional head of investigation at the National Crime Agency, said they are currently held in custody while extradition proceedings are ongoing. The investigation is part of the ongoing NCA work against the Kinahan criminal group. Liam Byrne, Jack Kavanaugh, and others have been hiding from justice for years. They have now been arrested on charges of serious firearms crimes. We have a great relationship with the Spanish National Police and will continue to work with our international partners to catch those who believe they can remain under the radar and have no place to hide. This is breaking news, Liam Byrne was the brother-in-law of David Byrne, who tragically died at the Regency Hotel in 2015, Thomas. Bomber Kavanaugh, Thomas Kavanaugh received a 21-year-old sentence last year at Ips Crown Court for organizing drug shipments to the UK using a complex import-export operation. That was the one that was used to modify machinery to conceal drugs and cash. Police are also involved. This is a brand new story. It's breaking news. The next story comes from Conventry Ways. Four men were convicted for killing a father of one after they ran into him while he was walking his dog, friends, and family. The car was driven in the wrong direction up a road despite a sign that said no entry. It also passed Corn and Bullis, which blocked Grover Road before intentionally hitting Andrew Flamson, the three people, and Corn's Bullis. Mr. Flamson is a 14 year old boy from the city. Conventry has suffered. The attack took place on 12 July last year. He was hospitalized three days later and died. Your family is being sent more condolences just as they can rest in peace. Mr. Flamson. Postmortem confirmed he died of a traumatic brain injury. Two teenagers and a man in his 40s also suffered a traumatic brain injury that caused permanent injuries. 
A dog was also put down soon after. A silver Mondeo had deliberately struck them on Grosvenor Road just before 11 p.m. Passerby came after a dispute about a long-standing debt with another group of men. To their assistance, the Mondeo, with its shattered windshield and broken wing, drove off after the emergency services were called. Donald's father, Ashley Samuel Henbury, was in the car with him. They had various weapons, including a wooden pole and a baseball bat. Investigators used data from the mobile apps and phones and the CCTV footage to reconstruct the men's movement that night. However, Donald had already fed the Irish police two days after the fatal accident. He decided to start the extradition process to get him back to the UK by September that ended up at Coventry Police Station. All three men denied that Andrew Flemson was murdered, but Donald from Edge, Baston, Birmingham, was found guilty yesterday of murder. Three other Henry Carl Thompson, 52, and Kalamaya, 22, were found guilty of manslaughter after a fifth defendant was not found guilty on all accounts. Andrew's family released the same statement and said, We will miss him. We will miss Andrew forever. He was kind, loving, and a gentleman. He was loved by his family, partners, and many friends, and we prayed for justice for our loss. Boy Andrew is now our spirit in the sky, dancing with the angels, and he will probably be teaching them his dance moves. A tattoo inspector from the homicide team said that this was an awful incident, with the car being used as a weapon in revenge for an argument over old money. At the very least, the intention was to cause serious harm, which has left families devastated by what happened. One is grieving the loss of a father and uncle, and another common to terms with their loved ones suffering serious life-changing injuries. I only hope that these verdicts bring some sense of peace to them. Although each of the men admitted they were in the car, they blamed each other with the driver claiming his arm was grabbed by Carl Thomason, which caused the car to hit the flames on the group with the verdicts delivered by the Jew. They dismissed this account. All these men went out with weapons to find the group they had argued with earlier, jointly responsible for the face events that unfolded. So guys, a couple of new stories are coming out after the streets of the UK. Daniel Kinnan may still be based in Dubai. The US authorities are also looking for his father, Christy Kinnan, and his brother, Christy Kinnan Jr. Many will wonder if the US authorities are finally catching them after Liam Byrne's arrest. I mean, it's only a matter of time. These people gotta go.